Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A real pleasure to be able to speak to you today. You um, maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this incredible new series, The Flat Share. What can audiences expect when they watch it? A bit of romance, a bit of comedy. My friend said to me the other day, uh, I said to her, I did a rom-com, and she goes, are you the rom in the com? And I was like, that is brilliant, yeah. <laughs> so expect a bit of rom in the com. <laughs> You're the rom in the com. I'm the rom in the com, yeah. Um, I'm the om in the com. <laughs> no. no. Uh, of course, based on the best-selling book from 2019 from Beth O'Leary. Um, were you already familiar with the book? Um, did you go back and revisit it when, when you had read the script? And um, what was the appeal for you? I, I wasn't familiar with it prior, and then when it came through as like a, a script adaptation, I, I did go and read the book and, and loved it and thought it was a page-turner and... and like really loved Leon and, and the relationship he you know begins to have with Tiffany um, but I think Jesse you were aware of it yes you had many friends trying to get you to read it yeah I she's did. like I'm only going to read it when they're <clears throat> considering me for the book <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah so I then I like I was reading it in between auditioning for it and I because often you're given just a very maybe an episode of something but never obviously like every script but the best thing is is when you're working from a book you've got the mm -hmm. sort of origin story right there <laughs> so I just consumed it in that moment and then there were big you know there were differences when then it came to the script but you just have all these tiny details that you can kind of grow attached to and and then sort of weave in to your version of of that character in with the script so it's just you end up with even more um yeah, you, yeah, you've got even more stuff to work with, so mm -hmm. it's amazing. It, revealing too much about myself, but a lot of it felt very, very relevant. Being a millennial, living in London, um, all the pressures that we face, you know, financial, you know, career-wise. Um, how well did you kind of relate to the sort of environment that these characters are in, and specifically to your characters for Leon and Tiff? How well did I re I mean, it feels like a London that I recognise, um, and that, that's what was really appealing to me. Um, and I, I, I think all of us probably have some situation where we've seen someone have to be very creative in how they survive or um, bring income, how they navigate love and, and relationships and friendships. And um, uh, it, feels, it feels very um, grounded. It's a rom-com and there's definitely a heightened like, um, essence to it. Um, that we all love to see um, yeah. in in something like a show like this, but the fact that it's grounded in something that we right now can relate to makes it so much more appealing, I think, um, and was like a big reason why I wanted to do it. And it films it's like set in London. I'm you know born in West London, so I get to like do something a rom com in my own city. I love that. Yeah. And for you, I mean, I guess, we, yeah, like we've kind of fallen in love a bit recently with messy millennial women and maybe mm. Tiff's kind of somewhere in, in that genre as well. How, how did you see her? Yeah, I mean, I think I, I really saw her as someone who who is currently just in, it's your, you're meeting her in her worst, at her worst. <laughs> someone who is, you know, maybe normally a really good, really loyal friend, but right now... Um, <laughs> for many reasons, isn't able to be that person. Someone who feels like they should have more stability in their life, mm -hmm. like whether that's through work or relationships or friendships, whatever it is, and then suddenly actually everything that they thought was stable has been kind of flipped on its head. And the feeling of, you know, how do you set up and build your life when everything around you is changing all the time and the goalposts are always being moved and things get harder and more expensive and more difficult to kind of, to sort of feel like tangible, to, to, to kind of pin down. And I think Tiff really spoke to me as someone who in that moment, like in post breakup or, or whatever that is, that me and all my girlfriends, we were talking about it and we could all relate to this feeling of this kind of stubbornness of like, no, I have to prove it to myself that I can, I can do this, that, whatever, you know, like hold it down, live, try and live on my own, try and get this sort of sense of self back. Mm. Um, and, and, you know, also living up to expectations of, 
if you're young, you should be able to be free and have all this, like, you know, be really carefree and then actually struggling with the fact that you're a romantic and you can't do that. Um, <clears throat> that really, that really spoke to me. And it looks like it must have been a lot of fun to make and, you know, as well as the romance being there, of course, so much comedy, so much wit and so much attention to detail. I think, like, when you go to the restaurant, avocado on toast is £12 and <laughs> sat in that kind of office environment where everything's supposed to be very fast paced. And what were some of the highlights of, of being on the shoot? And did you really feel like it was, yeah, based on a, on a real kind of London? Highlights of the shoot? <laughs> Working with him. Yeah, I was really well, working with her was a really big highlight. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess it's the kind of thing you would expect us to say, right? Yeah, great, but no, it really, it really, it really was. Um, I'm trying to think of like a specific day or scene. I started when I started filming. My 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 first few days were all in the office, mm. and I'd never done office scenes, and I was like. <laughs> I'm at work. Yeah. And I felt like, really, I was like, oh, this is cool. I was like spinning around in my chair and being like, I'd be fired the moment I yeah. walked into a real office. But like that, that was really wonderful and kind of building up the beginning of like Tiff's sort of life outside of this flat. And then like being able to finally actually, when we got to London and filming stuff on the streets in London, yeah. like walking down roads yeah. that you're like, I've walked down this road a thousand times. And it kind of is really exciting to be filming in your city mm -hmm. and a place that feels like yours and a very satisfying moment as well where the door really does open onto that like platform and you're like, that's real. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's such a, yeah, that I'm gonna agree, yeah, I'm gonna share the same thing. I think filming in London was a massive highlight. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first like started acting and I was like just, you know, going to and from school or, uh, uh, or wherever I was going and just being like, ah, oh, wouldn't it be really cool if I was like in a movie right now? Yes, and like, always imagine yeah, yeah. Film. And like, this is how I'd walk because <laughs> I'm thinking about this girl. And you know, you just got your own movie playing in your head, well, at least I was. And then like, really doing it. I was like really doing it on this, you know, walking across Waterloo Bridge or jumping on a bus or jumping on a train and just being like, I'm really filming like a, a rom-com in London. It was really exciting. And what do you hope people take away from watching it? Because I was reading, you know, you could compare it almost like to a Richard Curtis film, but, you know, really brought into the 21st century and kind of made very relevant for, for our times. Um, so it is kind of going on that journey, maybe a bit of escapism, but also poking fun at, at some of the realities of being a young person yeah. today. Um, so what yeah. do you think people take away? I love, like, all the Richard Curtis rom-com films. They're so, <clears throat> so great. And, yeah. Um, I, I just hope people have moved a little bit, you know, like they're entertained and and feel somewhat seen, like trying to survive in in a big city and navigate love and relationships. And um, if if anyone's like moved a little bit, then I feel like we, we've done our job and, and it feels like um, grounded. If they don't feel like they're being sold something that's like, it's just not like this in London at all, then you'd be like, oh, okay, we haven't done our job. But hopefully they feel like they recognize it and then um, maybe take up calligraphy or something. <laughs> That'd be great. Like, I don't know, start writing, start writing letters to each other a bit more often. I love, who doesn't love receiving a letter from someone or write? It's so yeah. nice to get a letter through the, um, um, through the door that doesn't have a plastic window. Because a plastic window, it's like, it's a bill. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's a bill. I'll leave that one in there. I'll come back to that. <laughs> Just yeah. leave that one there. I think it's also, it's really beautiful to see, to see the kind of rom-com back the um, sort of unapologetically romantic moments within the story, but also ones that challenge what we have previously watched and deemed as romantic. Mm -hmm. Tiff is someone who is a hopeless romantic, and I think she sees a lot of what she thinks is rom romance, um, and then, you know, it's really burnt her, and actually mm -hmm. separating what she thinks love looks like and what it actually is. And a lot of that comes back as self-love. And then also reconnecting with some of the most important relationships of your life will be with, with your friends and with your family. Um, and like connecting there and making those also great loves in your life. And kind of having that as part of your kind of bigger love story. I think that's kind of, that's a really special part of the show. 
I think I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing thank all that with me. You. And I really can't it's wait for everyone precious. else to get stuck into the flat share. Thanks so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.